person's reputation in the dunya benefits him at all in the akhirah. Like when a person is known among relatives or people to be pious with good character, but deep down he's a sinner, he's not perfect, and he's trying to be a good Muslim. Does this benefit him at all? Well, first of all, the norm is that we are the witnesses of Allah on earth. In an authentic hadith, a group of people passed by the Prophet ﷺ carrying a dead person. So they're carrying him to the graveyard. So the people said, MashaAllah, this is so and so individual, this person, he was good, he was this, he was that. The Prophet said, Wajabat. It is done. And then another corpse came, carried by men, and the audience with the Prophet started slandering and cursing him. Oh, this evil person, he's miser, he's this, he doesn't pray, he's a hypocrite. And the Prophet said, Wajabat. So the companion said, what do you mean by Wajabat? He said, you testified for the first one of doing good things. So Jannah is deserved for him. And the other one, you testified that he's an evil person. So hellfire, he deserves hellfire because of your testimony. You, the Prophet said, are the witnesses of Allah on earth. So generally speaking, yes, this has value for people on the day of judgment. What people think of you counts. The problem is what's inside of your heart. This is what only Allah knows. And we pray to Allah that he never exposes us, neither in this life or in the hereafter. Yet the general trend is that the people will testify for you and Allah would accept their uh, testimony and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.